everyone, welcome to the phys ed department. For today's movement session, we are going to be doing a little mix of mobility with a little bit of strength sprinkled in there. And this session is just really to calm us down a little bit, but also just getting the body feeling good. Mobility is great when just moving, right? Becoming great movers in life, in training, sport, or anything like that. So let's get right into it. We are gonna start off with our deep squat position. So whenever you're ready, get up on your feet, and then we're gonna head right down to the floor in just a second. So finding your feet, let's say about hip width apart, okay? We're just gonna hold our hands out in front of us like this. You're gonna start pushing your hips back, sitting down into a chair, but then we're gonna go right past that chair as deep as you comfortably can. And then once you get down there, you're gonna push your elbows into your knees and open up your hips. You may not be this low, you may be up here and that's fine, but just push your knee, elbows into your knees, opening up those hips, think opening up your chest so we're not rounding here, nice and tall with our spine. We're gonna hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, and then come all the way up to the top. Awesome, let's do that again. Slowly heading down here. Once you get to the bottom, right, press those elbows into our knees, opening up the hips. Think opening up your shoulders, opening up your chest for another five, four, three, two, one. From this position, before getting up, we're going to put our hands into the floor. Just stretch straight in our legs. You'll feel a good stretch right up the back of your legs. And then just drop those hips back down as your knees start to bend, back into our prime squat position with those elbows on those knees. Let's do that one more time. Push your hands into the floor. Push both your feet and your hands as you extend, stretching right through your legs. And then coming all the way back down. And then we'll stand up from there. Awesome, so we've opened up the hips a little bit. We have went through a squat pattern. Now we're gonna, you're gonna join me in doing 10 body weight squats. So you can either hold your hands down in front of you or keep your hands they just were. And we're gonna go for 10 squats, ready? You don't need to go that low on these ones. We'll hit just about that chair level. Here we go. Push back, down one, push your feet on the floor and stand up. Two, up, three, four, Keep going, five, six, up, seven, eight, nine, one more, down and up. Perfect, let's shake those legs out. Okay, we're gonna step back a little bit. We're gonna get another stretch through the back of our legs, so reaching down towards our toes. Then we're gonna slowly, right? You guys know this one, walk it out. Nice and slow, all the way to our hands. Bring those hips down with us. We're gonna drop here. Good. From here, I want you to just hold it. I'm gonna hold for 10 seconds. Nine, eight. Think tight in your abs. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop the knees. Perfect. From here, get the knees a little bit wider. You're gonna slowly push your hips back, dropping your chest, and then sliding forward, coming back stacked. Let's do that again, push back, hips to heels, drop your chest, straightening out your arms, and then sliding back forward. We're gonna do that one more time, push back, and forward, awesome. From here, let's get those legs back up, up on our toes. From this position, I'm gonna step one foot towards my hand. I can either keep my back leg fully straightened or I'm gonna drop that back knee. Okay, so back leg fully straightened. Well, not fully straightened, slightly bent, but just off the floor, stretched out, or drop that back knee on the floor. Okay, perfect. From here, the same side of this foot. I'm just gonna drop, try to drop my elbow beside the foot as best as I can and then open up, stretching, waving to the ceiling, and I'm going down again. So I'm gonna breathe in as I drop that elbow, and then up, wave to that ceiling one more time on this side, breathe in, drop that elbow, 
and then up. Good. From here, I'm going to kick my foot back and I'm going to hold it again in the center here, holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Other side now, step. Again, foot to hand. Go ahead and just drop that back knee on the floor so we can relax that a little bit. Now with this side, same thing. I'm going to breathe in as I drop my elbow down, up, and reach for the ceiling. Again, breathe in, down, getting my elbow as close to the floor as I can, up, and reach to the ceiling. Again, down, in, out, and up. Awesome. From this position, I'm going to come into my one knee up, one knee down, half kneeling. We're going to work our ankle mobility a little bit. So think here. We're going to start with that knee at 90 degrees. I'm going to slowly push forward, sliding my weight. It may go a bit past my toes. That's fine as long as this heel stays on the floor. And then push back through that foot. Push back a little bit. Again, we're going to slide forward as much as you can with keeping that heel down. And then push back. Keep going forward, good, and back, forward, and back. Awesome. We're going to just switch sides just so we can hit the other side. Same thing. Slide forward, push back, keep going forward, stretching as much as you can, as much as you can, and back. Good. Again, watch those heels. Those heels need to be sticky. Make sure those heels are sticking on the floor. We don't want them lifting. Let's go two more forward and back. One more forward and back. Perfect. From here, I'm going to come to center so you guys can see a little bit. We're going to get opened up a little bit more through the hips, a little bit on the inner part of our leg. So let's go into this all forward position here. And then I'm going to kick one leg out to the side. Okay, I'm going to slowly push back, kind of like we did earlier, and then sliding forward. And now just doing it on one leg. So I'm going to push back, dropping my chest, and forward. Good, keep going back. Good, almost sitting back onto your heels. Just as much as you can tolerate. Just as much, so it feels good. Keep breathing through it as we do this one more. And forward, perfect. Come here, other side, kick that leg out. Here we go, sit back towards our heels and forward again. Back and forward, good stuff. Back, forward, two more. Push back, forward, last one, back and forward perfect as you bring your knees in okay from here we're going to do what's called a static beast so think all fours position you're going to pull your shoulders back away from your ears you want to make sure your back is flat so i'm going to go slightly to the side so you can see again my knees are about underneath my hips toes in the ground what you're going to do you're going to lift your knees about an inch off the floor and we're going to hold it there together for 10 seconds ready here we go lift those knees just a little bit if you can 10 9 Eight, seven, six. Again, tightening through that core, tighten your abs. Five, four, three, two, one. Just push your legs in the air. So you're stretching through your legs right here. You're dropping your heels to the floor. We're gonna slowly come right back down and back into that beast position for another 10 seconds. Are you ready? Slowly start to drop your knees, but we're not gonna bring them all the way to the floor. Hold it here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, keep going, almost done. Now we're just gonna head down onto our back, okay? Stretch those legs out. From this position, you're gonna, you're gonna get your arms up to the side. This is very hip focused because we sit down a lot, especially if we're at school or at the computer working away. So from here, I'm gonna lift one leg up and then just over crossing the body. There we go. And then bringing it back to center. Again, lift leg up, 
slightly cross, see if you can get the foot to the floor. If not, that's fine. Back to center and drop that leg. Again, lift, cross, and back over. Lift, cross, and over. One more time each side. Lift, cross, try to get it as much to the other side as you can. But again, you always want it to feel good. One more on the other side. Cross and over. Awesome. From here, we're going to go into a glute bridge. So think bringing your feet close to the body. We're going to start off with just doing a hold. Okay. So I'm going to have my hands up to the side. I'm going to push my feet into the floor again, making sure those heels do not lift up. As I push my feet into the floor, I'm going to raise my hips off the floor all the way in the air. Right now, I'm squeezing my glutes. So you want to tighten, tighten your bum, and again, tighten your core stomach area, and just hold it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then back down. Good. From here, we're going to pull our knees into our chest and rock from side to side just a little bit. <laughs> Make sure you don't fall over to the other side. Just rocking a little bit from one side of your low back to the other. Good. Then hugging your knees as tight as you comfortably can. Good. Three more seconds. Two and one. We're going to go back into that bridge hold, okay? So hands by your side. Feet nice and tight to the body. Ready? Push your feet in the air. Push your feet in the floor. Raise those hips in the air. Once you get to the top, we're squeezing for 10, 9, 8, 7. Make sure you're breathing. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Slowly come right back down. Awesome. From here, we're going to get our feet. Think putting your feet together. Okay? Hands are going to be above your head. We're going to do what's called a butterfly sit-up. So we're going to try this together as best as we can. Okay, so I will give you two options. Either keep your feet like this or straighten them out and slightly straddled. Whatever feels better. Okay, so I want you to try this one first. And if you feel like it's not that comfortable, then we'll switch it up. So you're going to start peeling slowly, rolling up through your spine, trying to get all the way up there. Slow, slow roll. Once you get to the top, you're just going to reach past your feet. And then slowly controlling right back down to the floor okay so if you felt like you couldn't get all the way up there which is fine you can work a, a middle range or just straighten those legs up okay so I will show you that version as I do it with you or you can keep your legs like how you just did again let's peel slowly off rolling 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 again once you get here you're going to reach straight past your legs. Good. And then roll all the way back down. Okay, so let's try that one more time. If you haven't straightened out your legs, let's just do it all together. Straighten them out. You can keep them slightly apart. Again, think peeling your spine, peeling your back off the floor, starting with your neck and head, slowly all the way up rolling and then again stretch right past your feet if you can you can widen the legs a little bit more perfect and then up to the top awesome we're almost done guys we're just going to finish off with just relieving some tension around our neck so you can stay in a seated position you can cross your legs whatever feels good okay so think sitting nice and tall i'm gonna breathe in and then i'm gonna breathe out as i drop my chin to my chest Good. Breathe in, looking forward again. Breathe out, slowly look up to the ceiling. Then you're gonna stretch right through the front of your neck. Good, breathe in. You're gonna breathe out, look over one shoulder. Trying to keep your shoulders down as you do this so your shoulders aren't rising up with that tension. Breathe in, back to center. Breathe out, look over that other shoulder. Good. Keep that breath going. Good. Breathe in. Come to center. Breathe out. Drop your ear to your shoulder on that same side. Same ear to same shoulder. Again, try to keep that opposite shoulder down. 
It's getting one big breath here. So big breath in, big breath out. Good, breathe in, come back to center, looking forward, and then breathe out, dropping that other ear to that shoulder. And continue to breathe here. See if you can draw that ear any closer every time you breathe out. Good, and then looking back forward. Awesome, and we are done. Good job, guys. I hope that was able to relax you a little bit. We had a little bit of strength in there still to get the body moving and feeling good. Hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you soon.